One way to build a decent family of fighters is by using the same design, only making improvements when necessary. Such a family of aircraft is formed by the Mirage series, designed by Dassault. Single-engine delta-wing fighters like Mirage 3, 5 and 2000. However, there is one odd duck in the family that did not follow the same design. This is, in a nutshell, the history of the Mirage F1. In 1929, Marcel Bloch established the Société des Avions Marcel Bloch, or Company of Marcel Bloch's Planes, delivering fighters and bombers to the French Air Force in the lead-up to World War II. After the war, Marcel Bloch changed his name to Marcel Dassault and subsequently renamed his company Avion Marcel Dassault. Currently, the company operates under the name Dassault Aviation. Just like any other aircraft manufacturer, Dassault switched from propeller-driven planes to jet planes. Dassault produced many military jets like the Ouragan, Mystère, Etendard and Mirage aircraft. The Etendard aircraft served primarily with the French Navy, while the Mirage aircraft ended up with the French Air Force. But like any good businessman, Dassault was aware of the need to build newer and better aircraft to meet the latest demands on the battlefield. If you like this style of videos, you can help the channel by subscribing and leaving a like. In case you are wondering where the footage of this video comes from, it has been taken from the trailer for the Mirage F1 flight module in the DCS Flight and Combat Simulator. Full disclosure, I am not sponsored by Eagle Dynamics for making this video. In 1963, the French Air Force drafted the specifications for a new all-weather low-altitude intruder. Key requirements for the aircraft were supersonic interception, able to operate from short and rudimentary landing strips, and a landing speed below 260 km per hour. Thus, by mid-1964, Marcel Dassault initiated a discrete design for a small Mach 2 aircraft financed with corporate funds. Due to the low landing speed requirement, delta wings, as used on the Mirage 3, were out of the question. Therefore, the Dassault engineers decided to use a swept wing. At the end of 1965, the Dassault company started up the production of the first prototype suitable for the French Air Force. The new aircraft would get the name Mirage F1. Eventually, four prototypes would be produced and tested, leading to a contract for a production aircraft in 1970. The Mirage F1 is a single-engine fighter. Although developed for the French Air Force as an interceptor aircraft, Dassault made sure that the aircraft could fulfill ground attack duties. The fuselage of the F1 is identical to its predecessor, the Mirage 3 with the exception of the wing. Dassault traded the delta wing for a shoulder-mounted swept wing. Changing wings resulted in shorter required runway lengths, increased combat range and slower landing speed. Also, the avionics received an upgrade compared to the Mirage 3. A single Snigma Attar 9K50 turbojet engine propels the Mirage at a speed of Mach 2 to an altitude of 18,500 meters. The Mirage has one centerline pylon, four underwing and two wingtop pylons, with a capacity of 6,300 kg. The armament of the Mirage F1 consists of two 30mm cannons. Missiles like the Matra 530 and the Matra Super 530, both semi-active radar homing missiles, complete the ordnance. In 1977, the Matra R550 Magic, usually carried on the wingtips, was added to the air-to-air ordnance. Around the same time, the Mirage F1 was adapted to also carry the AIM-9 Sidewinder instead of the R-550. Foreign operators had requested the Sidewinder for their Mirage fighters. For ground attacks, the F1 could carry various bombs and laser-guided missiles. One of the more dreaded missiles the Mirage could carry was the AM-39 Exocet anti-ship missile, a weapon the British would learn to fear during the Falkland War. Dassault produced several variants of the Mirage F1. The F1C was the basic all-weather, all-altitude air defense variant. The F1A was basically a C-model with simplified electronic equipment and larger fuel capacity designed for the South African Air Force. The F1B model was the two-seat version used to train pilots. And finally, there was also the reconnaissance version in the form of the F1R model.
In total, 762 Mirage F1s were built between 1970 and 1992. 473 were intended for export. The Mirage F1 has been operated by 11 air forces and is still in operation with 5 air forces. These include Congo, Habon, Iran, Libya and Morocco. In service with the French Air Force, the Mirage F1 did see its fair share of combat operations. In 1984, F1s were deployed during Operation Manta, the French intervention in Chad. The Mirages returned to Chad in 1986 during Operation Hypervier. During the Gulf War, Mirage F1s performed 114 sorties from Qatar and Saudi Arabia. In 2007, three Mirage F1s were deployed at Kandahar Air Force Base, providing close air support to international forces fighting the Taliban in southern Afghanistan. In 2011, Mirage F1s joined Operation Harmaton, providing reconnaissance over Libya. The last combat operations occurred in 2013 once again in the skies above Chad. The last Mirage F1s were retired in 2014, their reconnaissance task now performed by the Rafale fighter. The final flight of the F1 was during a fly past on Bastille Day over Paris. With its shoulder-mounted swept wings, the Mirage F1 was the odd member of a series of Mirage fighters which were all characterized by their delta wing. Nevertheless, the F-1 proved itself a versatile and valuable aircraft for the French Air Force and continues to prove its worth with the few countries still operating this fighter. Thank you for watching. If you follow these links, you can watch other videos that I made on aviation and military aircraft.